Hey friends, thanks so much for stopping by our video today. All month long, we've been talking about the theme, friendship. If you've been joining us for our Sunday service videos, you've seen us make all different kinds of friendship bracelets and keychains. Well, there's so many different types out there, I figured, hey, let's make some more throughout the week. And I wanna challenge you, let's not just make them for ourselves, let's make them for some of our best friends and mail it to them throughout the week. Don't worry about any items or supplies that you need. I'll link everything below so it'll be really easy for you to gather all the materials. Are you guys ready to get crafty? Here we go. All right, friends, today we're gonna to be making these paracord keychains. I love these, these two, two colored paracord keychains. So we're gonna make these, you can make these for you and one of your friends and then send them in the mail. So this is what you're gonna need. Here's all the supplies that you're gonna need. You're gonna need a lighter. Remember, you're gonna need an adult or a, a parent to help you. You'll need some type of keychain. You can have a plain ring like this or a clip ring. I like these clip rings for keychains because um, you can put them on a lot more things, zippers and stuff like that. You'll need some tape. You'll definitely need some paracord and you'll need some sharp scissors. Well, with that, let's get started. We're gonna make these awesome paracord keychains. Here we go. Okay, so now I've picked out my two colors. So go ahead and pick out whatever two colors of paracord string that you would like to use for your keychain. I picked this green and blue. I love these fluorescent bright green color. Um, and then what I went ahead and did is I went ahead and cut about 18 inches or a foot and a half long of string. Now when you cut the string's edges, you'll notice that it gets very frayed and I'll show you what I mean, like this. So this edge right here, it's really frayed and it'll spread apart as I continue to work with it. It's just gonna get messy. The cool thing about paracord string is that when you light it on fire, when you add some heat to it, it actually melts down and kind of seals the end. So that's what we're gonna do. So grab your lighter, grab a parent or an adult, and you're gonna go ahead and have them just singe the end of it. You don't wanna catch it on fire. Be careful that it's very, very hot, so you don't wanna touch that part. It gets kind of melty like glue, and so you don't want that to touch your skin. It will definitely burn. So being very careful, you just wanna singe the end, and we're gonna give that a minute to cool down, and you can see I already did that with my green string here. And then we don't need our lighter anymore. So just about 18 inches, a foot and a half of cord. You can do a little bit longer or a little bit shorter depending on how big you want your keychain. And then we're just gonna get started in making it. So I'm gonna let this cool for just one more second. Blow on it a little bit. And I'm gonna get ready. So my string is kind of, kind of bending. I'm trying to flatten it out here a little bit. It came all wound up. Um, so it's a little bit, oops, a little bit difficult to work with. Um, so hopefully you have straighter string than I do. But what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna take your first color and you're gonna lay it down vertically, or uh, horizontally, excuse me, just sideways like this. And then your next color, and you're gonna put it right on top, just like that. Don't worry about your keychain, we're gonna get to that in just a minute. We're gonna get our keychain started. So what we're working on right now is making this first cross braid. So we're gonna make this first cross braid right here and then we're gonna flip our keychain into the top. You can do this after if you like, it's a little bit more difficult. Um, it is kind of a complicated process, so bear with me. Watch closely, pause and rewind the video if you need to. So here is your first step. So you have your color on top, your second color underneath. Now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna try to make this as straight as possible. Again, it's kind of hard with my, my string I'm working with. You, right where your two pieces cross, you're gonna put your finger right on top. You wanna just hold that place tight. You don't want that to move around at all. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this left piece going out to your left and you're gonna bring it around on top and just make a little loop here. This can go straight. So you can see it was over here and I just brought it straight on top over here. So I have this loop going. That's what I wanna see, this green loop right on top. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this top part and do the same thing in the opposite direction. So you can see now I have this loop going. So all I did is this was my horizontal line going straight. I'm just gonna pick it up and drop it on the other side, making this loop kind of like a backwards S you can see going here. My blue string is still straight, just a straight line. I picked up my green string, brought it this way and this way. So now I have this backwards S going on. So you can let go and see, there's my backwards S pattern. Now this part gets a little bit tricky, so you might need to watch. You won't, you're gonna wanna watch very carefully, okay? So holding my center piece, just so I can kind of mark and see where I'm at, I'm gonna take this top 
string, your top loop string or whatever color you're using, and you're gonna take this down and loop it through your green string. Try to move my fingers out of the way here so you can see. Okay, so here's my backwards S, so we can keep reference of where we're at. Backwards S. I'm gonna take my top blue string, bring this down, straight through, oops, well, kind of straight through with my bendy string, this green one, just like this. And then I'm gonna take the bottom blue string, you probably guessed it, we're gonna do the same thing going up, up through the green. So if you can see here, let me redo that just nice and slow so everyone can follow along. So here's my backwards S, my centerpiece here. We're gonna take the top blue string and pull it down through my under the bottom part of my backwards S. We're gonna take the bottom blue string, bring it up through the top part of my backwards S. Now your string, if I were to let go of the centerpiece, my bendy string, should look something like this okay now here's typically where we like to put in our keychain ring we want to put it somewhere in the center of this what I did here is I actually added it after I made this first tie I don't know if you can tell so what we're gonna do is right here you can add your your um, keychain if you would like you have to do a little bit of maneuvering I will tell you so here's what we're gonna do. If you wanna add your keychain, I'm gonna take this backwards S piece and I'm just gonna follow it along, keeping all my strings in the right place, places. And I wanna try to bring it in to the center piece, right where they crisscrossed. And I'm just gonna leave it right there for now, okay? Now, here's the fun part. So we have our four strings wound up pretty tight all coiled together. Now we're gonna pull all four strings together and try to pull them as tight as possible to make our first knot, okay? So these ones are pretty loose, so I'm just gonna kinda tuck them in here. Pull them all tightly, nice and slow. And then if you can grab all four, put them close together, and you should see there is our first knot. How cool is that? So this is what it looks like on top of the keychain. Here's what it looks like on bottom. And now we're going to build our keychain from here. Isn't that awesome? Kind of complicated, but we took it nice and slow. If you need to go back and redo the video or try again, definitely go ahead and do that. And there is our first knot. So now we're gonna continue to make the second part of our keychain. Okay, now it's time to begin making and weaving our keychain. This is where it gets fun, and this is where we're just gonna do our repetitive motion to make our keychain length. So, starting with your first string here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna, I like to separate my colors out, make sure they're all kind of going in different directions. This helps me um, as we begin our weave. So I take this first bottom piece right here, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go in order and I'm gonna loop this over to the other side and I'm gonna try to hold it with my other fingers or if your string is a little bit stronger than mine, less bendy, mine's giving me some resistance. So I'm gonna hold it down right here with my other finger. Keep this little loop open right here, okay? So I'm gonna loop it over to the other side. Now I'm gonna move clockwise around my string. I'm gonna take my next string and loop it the other direction. Then you guessed it, now I'm gonna take my blue string, the next one, oops, I'm trying to hold this one down, and bring it across this way. Hopefully he stays on his own a little bit. I might have to hold it. And then I'm gonna take my last string. Now this one, I'm not just gonna loop over the top. I'm gonna loop over the top of this first string and inside of the very first blue loop I made. So I hope you guys can see that. So this string is my last string I'm weaving. I'm gonna go over the first blue one and under the second blue. And now we're gonna pull all four strings nice and tight, just like we did last time. All four strings, pull these two here, these two here, nice and tight. And there is 
our second weave. So you can kind of turn it and tighten it up a little bit if you need to. You want these to be nice and tight and that's gonna give us this really cool, straight, stiff shape. That's what we want. So you want nice and tight knots. And then, if you guys can see it's coming together, we're just gonna keep doing that. We're gonna do that all the way down until we get towards the end. So, continue weaving with me. Let me walk you through how to do it one more time. Okay, now that we got our first weave done, we're gonna do it a little bit differently from here on out. So for our next weave and continuing on, what we're gonna do is just pick two color, your one color to start with. So I'm gonna go with blue. And what I'm gonna do is it's gonna be a little different than our weave we just finished, but I'm gonna loop it over to the opposite side here. And my top blue, I'm gonna loop it over to the opposite side here. So you can see, so I have these two circles, they're going the opposite direction they were. And I'm gonna take my green string or your second color string, whatever your second color string is, I'm gonna weave over the top of the blue and under the second blue, just like that. I'm gonna do the same thing going the opposite direction, over the top of the first blue string and under the second blue string. And then we're gonna do the same thing and pull our four strings, lay them flat and then pull them tight. And that's how we're gonna continue making our keychain. So I'm gonna go back and I like to keep the same color. It just kind of helps me keep me sane and so I know what I'm working on. And so we'll go back to blue. So over to the other side, over to the other side. Take our green, over what the first one, under the second one. Opposite direction, same thing, over the first string, under the second string. Then pull all four strings tight. Now let's keep going. You can see our bracelet is start, or our keychain is starting to take its shape. So let's keep going and finish it off. Okay. So now that we're towards the end, I made mine a mini one. This is my tiny little one. I don't think I did it the full 18 inches. Maybe I did it a little bit shorter. Um, but this one is my little mini keychain here. Now that I'm getting close to the end, I probably don't, the reason why I have to stop is because you see my, I didn't keep my centers lined up. So my blue is a lot longer on this side and it's a lot shorter on this side. So I just don't think I have enough to do one more weave. So we're gonna end it here. And it's really simple, wherever you wanna end it, if you want it, to be shorter or you can keep going and do it longer. The cool thing about paracord is it's really flexible. So if I wanted to keep going, what I could do is I could cut off this singed end here, grab some more blue and singe it again and then fuse these together. And then I could keep going if I wanted to make it longer. But I like this little mini one. I think this looks cool. It's not gonna be too big on my keychain or my friend's keychain because I wanna send one of these to my friend. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to end your keychain. So remember paracord, to seal it is we like to singe the ends. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull our last knot nice and tight, make sure it's real tight. And when you get here, you're gonna wanna cut your string really close to the end of your knot. I'll show you what that looks like. You wanna cut it close here because what we're gonna do is we're gonna singe it and fuse it into our keychain so it doesn't come undone. So I'm gonna come as close as I can to the end here without cutting my green string. Remember, do it nice and tight before I make my, my cut because once I cut, that's it. Okay, put it nice and close. And then this is where you're gonna grab your lighter again. And you're gonna wanna singe the end. Be very careful, remember to get an adult or a parent to help you because you don't wanna singe your fingers. That would not be good. I'm just gonna heat this up, get it nice and melty. And then this is gonna fuse right into our green string and kind of create this little seal. So it will not come undone. Just blowing that a little bit, letting it cool. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to our next one. We're gonna do the same thing for all four strings and this is gonna create the end of our keychain. 
So again, I wanna be careful not to touch that because it's really hot. I'm gonna cut nice and close. Grab my lighter. I'm just gonna finish the end. Now it's cooling down. The string is nice and tight. We're gonna move on to our next one and do the same thing. And then the last one. And there we go. There is our paracord two color square keychain. How cool is that? Remember, this is totally customizable. You pick your colors, your length, your type of keychain ring that you wanna use and send one to your friends. Make one for yourself and send the next one to a friend or family member during this time. How cool is that? Well, great job, you guys. Thanks so much for getting crafty with me. I hope you guys had fun. Stay tuned to our channel. Make sure you like and subscribe so you know when our next video comes out.